All right, everybody, we're working through the, the radicals chapter here. What we're going to do is we're going to solve some equations here. Oops, sorry, bring that down. Uh, we're going to solve this one right here. Uh, the square root of 3x minus 5 uh, plus 7 equals x. Now, what I want to talk about here, first of all, are the restrictions on the variables. So what I'm going to do is bring that 7 over to get the square root of 3x minus 5 is equal to x minus 7. Now, I want to talk about the restrictions on the variable here. First of all, what I'm taking the square root of here cannot be negative here. So 3x minus 5 must be greater than or equal to 0. Not because you can take the square root of 0. So bring the 5 over and we get that 3x must be greater than or equal to 5. And then divide by 3. So I can tell here that x must be greater than or equal to 5 thirds. But additionally, if you were to take a look at a radical function here, you would notice that the range of the radical function is also greater than or equal to 0. And so if this whole function is greater than or equal to 0, that means the right-hand side, what it's equal to, must also be greater than or equal to 0. And so the restriction here must be that x is greater than or equal to 7. Now between those two, I can tell that the answer here must be greater than or equal to 7. Okay? Because if x has to be both greater than or equal to 5 thirds and greater than or equal to 7, well, then the overall restriction is x is greater than or equal to 7. That restriction comes from both sides once I've isolated the, the radical. Now, I'm going to go to my calculator, and what I've done here is I've entered in uh, both sides of the equation. And now when I press graph, I'm going to go second trace, and I'm going to go find the point of intersection between them. First of all, I've got to make it so that I can see uh, the function show up, but I press enter for the first function, enter for the second function, enter again. I wait a little bit, and I get an error. Now, I want you to understand why you're getting an error here, okay? What's happening here is on the graph, on the graph, the point of intersection between these, these two functions is somewhere out here. The calculator will find a point of intersection if it's above the screen, but not if it's to the left or the right of the screen. So I'm going to go into my window settings here, and I'm going to make my x max, let's say, 20. Actually, I'm right off the top of my head, I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. I, I can still see that they're not intersecting, but now if I go in and look for the point of intersection, move the cursor over so that it's, it's on both functions there, press enter, 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 wait a couple seconds, and yes, it does find it. And the answer here is in fact 12.77, which is in fact in the domain that we anticipated the answer would be in.